hello everyone welcome to collective guidance tarot um so i hope you guys are doing okay so actually um i'm restarting the the reading but the first card that i had pulled out was um the riddle in the shadow so in today's reading i'll just be looking at um you know the the relationship the marriage the hug goes marriage what is currently going on is everything um as perfect as we are being told that it is so we're basically just going to look at um the relationship the state of their relationship what's going on because um their mouthpiece who is a uh, scooby do um i think a few weeks ago he was talking about how you know everything is okay they're doing fantastic so we're really going to look into that um, yeah, so the first card that I actually pulled out was the riddle in the shadow, which is in the dark. Um, it's manipulation, deceit, and trickery. We don't know uh, where this manipulation and trickery and deceit is coming from. And also, um, I did in the reading that I had to cut, the judgment was at the back. So I don't know, poor judgment. I don't know what's going on. So let us begin. Oh, and thank you all for supporting. Thank you for the uh, subscribers, <laughs> the likes, um, the comments. I enjoy engaging with all of you on the comment section. Um, yeah, so I just thought I should come on here and do the reading. It is uh, spring where I am, but it's extremely cold. So yeah, welcome to the new people to uh, and welcome back to the old people. And there is a vision at the back. So there is a poor judgment because of a vision, lack of vision. Or someone saw a vision that wasn't true. They misjudged um, a vision. They, they saw something. They didn't see something correctly. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, let us begin, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. Eros, um, sexuality, sex, um, addiction, sexual addictions, the self in reverse, narcissism, um, self indulgence. So maybe um this um this eros which is sexuality it has to and it's coming out in the dark it has to do with sexuality a sexual addiction um yeah maybe this um manipulation and trickery is because of um some form of sexual addiction and we see the self in reverse which is um narcissism and we also know that narcissism ties in with um you know trickery manipulation and deceit I think humans um, do manipulate from time to time, you know, but um, narcissists do it. The comic, we know who the comic is. I've seen, I've been seeing this card for some time, the comic. So let's just pull one last card and begin. Oh, the pilgrimage. Okay. last one the bridge in reverse okay the ocean emotions okay so this explain the the ocean card explains everything because we are looking at um a situation pertaining to marriage which is love so what i'm seeing here immediately is that someone feels like um they made um a poor decision and also the comic, I don't know why I'm seeing all these manipulation and trickery and deceit card because um, the comic can also be um, a very manipulative energy. When it's in the upright, this is someone that um, is the life of the party. They joke around a lot. They, yeah, this is basically someone that does not take anything seriously. This is the person that when you are going through stuff, and you want to love this is the person that you consult with but since it's coming out in reverse 
this can also be um manipulation and insults that um subtle subtle insult insults that are disguised as disguised as um jokes you know when someone is like saying something indirect passive aggressiveness when someone is saying something to you as a joke but then they mean they mean what they're saying but then they say it's a joke that's the energy that i'm getting there might be something like that going on in, in the relationship and also with narcissists there's a lot of uh, condescending energy which sometimes they say stuff to you as jokes but it means something and someone here feels like they were duped which is um this com comic card they feel like they were taken for a ride they were put uh, through the ringer and the bridge someone is realizing that they actually destroyed a, a connection because a bridge talks about a connection uh, i don't know if you can see the male hand and the child so someone regrets destroying a relationship between um a father and the son so whoever this comic is which we know is harry so he probably regrets what he has done he feels like um he went into this because of um sexuality and whatever he was not thinking he was thinking with um his sexuality which goes back which goes back to um the judgment card why can't i speak which goes back to the judgment card that we saw at the back and i did say that there was some type of poor judgment so at the moment there is a lot of trickery manipulation that is going on into that is going on in the relationship i'm saying that because of um the ocean card which is when and i saw this card in the reading that i did yesterday that i didn't post the ocean um when you're looking at, a, at the ocean it seems it's still it it looks calm but there's just so much going on underneath the surface. This is, um, it's also explaining this whole thing where um, in the media, we are being told that everything is perfect. They're both in love. They're doing fantastic. You know, they, they're just happy. But what we are seeing is what is, you know, at the, the top. It's like, you know, that whole saying, the tip of an iceberg that's what we see we don't see what's underneath the surface and i'm saying that because of there's an eyeball so it's saying that the ocean card is saying that there is a lot emotionally that's hidden that we don't know about and as well as in the relationship um emotions are not being expressed there is a lot of manipulation it's not teamwork someone is more concerned with the self or both of them are actually concerned with the self they went into this for their own um you know personal agendas and that's the energy that i also picked up yesterday so with the pilgrimage um in reverse this is someone that has uh deviated that deviated from their spiritual path because the pilgrimage is your spiritual path the path that you were supposed to take which also ties back to the judgment card that we saw where i spoke about um someone who made a, a bad choice someone who made bad judgment and with the riddle this is a lot of confusion in a relationship why because emotions are not being com communicated there is a lot of passive aggressiveness and what we are seeing is only the tip of an iceberg what's going on underneath is a lot there might also be sexuality sexual stuff some sexual uh, deceit going on it's also an energy that i picked up yesterday i also picked up the devil energy let's see if um We'll pick up the same cards that i saw yesterday but i did see the devil i did see that there was a potential cheating in the relationship or someone is thinking of doing that and here we pull uh we pulled out the arrows card so let's see what the cards say the, the tarot cards say so yeah there is a lot that's hidden underneath the surface that's why they even have to send their mouthpiece to speak on their behalf yeah there's no forward movement in the relationship why because both of them are not doing the work that needs to be done and um the chariot card to me is um someone who is not healed both of them have to do healing which goes back to um this the self card in reverse which is narcissism and we all know that narcissists are 
a broken people that need to heal the three of ones there is a lot of expectations that are placed on each other both of them are placing expectations on each other unrealistic expectations on each other so someone regrets that um they there's they might have destroyed a relationship with their father. Um, then the nine of pentacles, I, I spoke about pentacles in the other reading. I think I'm just going to post that reading regardless of how I feel about my name. <laughs> yeah. The nine of pentacles, um, she Megan always comes out as the, the queen of pentacles. This is someone that is focused on money and someone here their emotional needs are not being met which i think is the other party which is the comic because also the comic can be a man child and if you know of a man child this is someone that expects expectations expects you to cater to their emotions you know that man child that was uh babied a lot so now that he's in a marriage he's expecting the same from Hey, and she's more concerned about money, about the self, and it goes back to the self cut that is in re uh, in reverse that talks about the narcissism of this relationship. Ah, oh my goodness, the judgment again in reverse. <laughs> I told you, poor judgment. Someone didn't listen to what to their guides. The signs were there. I don't know why people like you know it's funny that here and you see do you see this like the divine is blowing like a horn be careful be careful and these people are naked and we just spoke about sexuality and also this is ex someone being exposed but then it's coming out in reverse okay i was saying that i don't know why people think that when the divine speaks to you yeah they're going to tap you on the shoulder and say hey hey what what are you doing no the people that are in your life are mirrors. Those are the people that are there to sort of guide you. And this is um the signs that I'm talking about. The signs were there. People warned him. It was not only people in his family, since he's saying his family is racist. It was even outsiders, his friends, the secretaries, the people that, the staff, everyone warned him. But why? There was poor judgment. That's why this judgment card is coming out. And we also saw the judgment here. I don't know if you guys remember. The judgment card was, oh my goodness. Poor judgment. Someone is re regretting the will of fortune. Someone was focused more on luck and fortune, making money, which goes back to um the nine and the self card, which is narcissism. And yeah, I mean, people are very individualistic in nature. We can, <laughs> at the end of the day, whatever it is that's going on here, he can't really blame her for wanting this money because the signs were there and emotionally there was so much that was hidden underneath the surface they didn't really get to know each other because when you marry someone you marry their family you basically marry everyone and she she went into this for fame fortune here is this the money card is coming out the fortune card is coming out and he's regretting that he destroyed this uh, connection with his father with his family because this is the bridge the bridge is coming out in reverse things will never be the same for him there's a lot of unrealistic expectations and he's surprised that why are you always expecting so much from me and she's like didn't you promise me <laughs> <laughs> didn't you promise me before we got married because he made so many promises someone can't demand something that you don't have something that you didn't promise them he's recognizing with the poor judgment he's recognizing that um he made a bad decision with the comic we've been seeing this i saw this card yesterday i'm going to post that reading <laughs> the page of ones i'll only post it if you guys ask me to um the page of ones i saw exactly in reverse yeah he was thinking about what maybe that reading was um maybe i didn't do it well or whatever but i'm basically getting the same message sexuality and this guy this page of ones this is someone that flirts a lot this is someone that has um you can see he's holding his wand which is the 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 private area 
and ones are like passion so this thing it started off with passion and it died down as fast as it started and what's hidden underneath the surface is that they didn't get time to connect on that like on that deep emotional level the relationship was based on surface level things that's why there's just so much talk about their relationship they're doing their best to try and convince people that we are happy when you are happy you don't have to convince people even the people that you see on social media posting oh my goodness i'm married my husband this my husband that those are the people that if you really look at what's underneath the surface, there's so much going on. And they post to convince themselves and people that everything is okay. I don't know if you guys know those type of people, but I'm sure you have someone like that on your face. <laughs> on your Facebook. We are not here to gossip, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, life. <laughs> someone feels overly burdened and whoever this person is they didn't pick their battles wisely and this person is basically at the point where they just want to throw away the burdens because the burden card is coming out in reverse the ten of wands and all these ones card goes back uh, to the passion that i was talking about a lot of expectations that a lot of expectations are being made are being expected unrealistic expectations at the beginning there were things that she was promised and it's that thing that why aren't you always um content enough um law and order marriage this is marriage law and order a higher power they fail to listen someone felt here failed to listen to you know someone of a higher authority that was trying to warn them and also this card can also is also a marriage card so, illusions yeah someone feels like um yeah with the judgment card someone feels like this whole thing was based on illusions and this illusion comes from um sex because with sex a lot of um I don't know i'm not a scientific person but a lot of um hormones are being released and at that time yeah he was basically high on hormones it's, you know that sexual passionate it was a sexual passionate thing which is the page of one because the page of ones is someone that thinks with that thinks why can't i speak but one day i'll be able to speak <laughs> Um, this is someone that thinks with, you know, the thing between their legs. Basically being high on passion. You know, it's like a high, you know, it's a, the mo one moment you are high, the next thing. It's like when you drink energy drink, one moment you are high, like you have a lot of energy, then you like, you burn out immediately. That's basically what happened here. This relationship ended a long time ago and I saw this card yesterday. It was built on illusions. You can see that um, there's money, there's a castle, there's a, a, a dragon, there's a ghost, there's a snake. Basically, there's a lot. It's, it's illusions. This doesn't exist. It wasn't built on a solid foundation. And we saw um, riches, money, which goes back to the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of um, Pentacles. Someone here was doing it for the money someone here was doing it because they were passionately in love and they were not thinking clearly and the high <laughs> the high priestess um yeah okay i'm going to say this but i've been saying this before with arrows and the high priestess megan is someone that knows what how to get what she wants Especially she knows how to hook men, especially sexually. She knows. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Which goes back to this Eros card. This is someone that can seduce seduction. What's, do you see the diamond? Do you see the pentacles? so this is someone that knows how to get what they want basically lure men and remember the other day when we pulled out other uh, siren very seductive trickery which goes back to what the the riddle card it was a bunch of confusion why because someone was high on this uh sexual energy 
there's science behind it. I don't know what the hormones are called, but yeah. If the science people, can you please help us? <laughs> um, the hanged man, yeah. He, he's whoever Harry is regretting. He's currently in this energy of the hangman. The hangman is you trying to get a new perspective shift. You're looking at everything um, from a bird's eye view. You're trying to come up with new uh, ideas on how, I don't know if he's trying to get out of this or he's trying to save the relationship. He's trying to find ways to, you know, save this marriage, go back to the old days. And um, I wanted to say something about the hangman. Yeah, stagnant energy. He feels stuck. He feels like he can't move, which is true because you left everything. You went in, You went to a different country where you didn't know anyone. Obviously, you're going to feel stuck. He feels like he cannot escape this. He's basically boxed in. And um, yeah, someone once I saw um the eight of cups yesterday, which is a card of walking away. The six of um of swords is that surrender walking away but then since it's coming out in reverse it's like six um the swords swords are, are thoughts so someone is thinking about um walking away and yesterday i pulled out the eight of cups but they're preventing themselves from walking away and i don't know if you got in as much as like this card is about thoughts and thinking there's also water which is emotion and the water is unstable, unstable emotions. Someone wants to go back home. And I don't know if you guys can see that these people are, are at sea. But they, these are houses, basically people. It's another country. It's like moving from one place to another. So someone is thinking about going back home. However, the bridge, water, I'm seeing a lot of water here. Water, the bridge. However, he can't go back. Why? Because the bridge is in reverse. He does recognize that the one person that was supposed to support him, the one person that was always going to be there and stand up for him regardless of everything, he basically um, destroyed that bridge. He bent that bridge. So he's really regretting. Let's put one last card in, in the reading. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. I saw her yesterday. <laughs> He's going to regret this for the rest of his year, for the rest of his life. I'm very sorry. I don't know why I'm laughing, but it's funny. Um, <laughs> she, she's look at can you like his cards are coming out in reverse, which is um insecurity, unstable, the hangman. He's getting a perspective shift. She, on the other hand, confidence, mm, confidence. <laughs> oh my goodness yeah look at, look at all in the all the cards that represent hair are all in the upright and remember i spoke about okay the energy that i'm getting with the six of pentacles is that before they got married or whatever he was considering someone he was giving to two connections or someone was giving to two connections and as we all know she was seeing um the other chef the other chef um tori whatever i don't know his name i don't know these people's names but yeah you guys know who i'm talking about this is someone that's giving to more than one connection so she dropped this other person to want to go and make this a uh, commitment and the queen of pentacles is always a card that i pulled i pull for her she's thinking about money the the diamond wealth the wheel of fortune pentacles the hierophant this is someone that is very strategic mysterious do we do we know a lot about megan marco no the high priestess is a very mysterious person very strategic they know how to get what they want do seduction I don't, and I don't care what anyone says, but part of using um seduction, yeah, there's some magic there. You have to conjure up certain energies. Yeah. I, was, I said what I said. Bye. To get men to... Hey. <laughs> I don't know why I can't take... <laughs> I don't know why I can't take this seriously. Please forgive me. But that is, you guys got it, like, whatever it is that you hear. And I'm so glad that I'm actually, like, yeah, like, 
I'm I'm waiting for you know after a few years you guys will come back and yeah you'll listen to this whatever you hear they're happy they're doing amazing it's all a lie if you are happy you don't have to convince the world that you're happy you don't have to act you know like that even some celebrity couples that are like have been together for years if you really look at them and how they behave in public it's not even with celebrities, everyone in general, people that they know relationship is not all flowers and beautiful thing. This whole thing of going to the media and saying, we're happy, we're doing fantastic. <sighs> we're taking maternity leave. What maternity leave? Okay, guys, um, thank you all for watching. And uh, hello to the new people. Um, So you can go to the description uh, thingy description box check out uh the, the the cards that i used and you can also um if you want to support the channel you can buy me a coffee and uh you can also like comment subscribe to support me and everything that i do thank you all for watching i genuinely appreciate all of you and yeah i hope you guys are warm because where i am i'm really cold bye